to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to show you how to just quickly design this pennant here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into images and let's type in pennant. And then I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to my images. So then these are all the ones that are included with Cricut Access and things that I've uploaded so I won't have to pay for anything. So I'm just gonna pick this one here. Let's see what it's called. It's called Pretty Penance M40 D72. And then click on Insert. So this will come in. And then you're just gonna size it how you want. So if you click the Unlock down here, you can make it longer, wider, without keeping the ratio there. So I'm gonna make it about there. So then we're just gonna put in the little holes for the string. So I'm just gonna add a shape and we're gonna do a circle and then size it to the size you want it. and then just put it up in the corner. And then I'm gonna actually duplicate this so I have two of the same size. So up here on the right side, I'm gonna click Duplicate. And I'm just gonna kind of put that about the same distance. And then I'm actually gonna align them. So I'm gonna click on one, hold down my Control key or Command if you're on a Mac, click the other one, come up to Align, and then you can align top, vertically, bottom, it doesn't matter with circles. I'm just gonna do top so they're in the same spot. So now is when you need to use the slice and slice will only slice two items at one time. So I'm gonna click on this one. Again, hold down my control or command, click on the big square and come down on the bottom right and click slice. So now you can click on this and then click on the sliced image and that's gone. So now you will notice that this came on top of the other one. So all you, all you need to do is go up to the arrange and click send it to back. And so now you will see this other circle. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on this circle, hold down control, click on the banner itself and again hit slice. And I'm gonna delete those out. So now we're gonna cut out the square for where the picture is going to be. So I'm actually going to insert just a shape, just the square. And again, about three inches is probably good. And I put it right there. And I'm actually going to write the words up here first, just so I know, you know, how far or below I want it, but it's probably going to be about there. Well, the nice thing about design space now, as you can see now over here, what the text is that I used. So I don't have to guess on what it is. So like this text says algebra and this is font font fantastic fonts. I think it's DJ something. So I'm going to add text and then again here, write whatever you want. I'm gonna write PTO president and up here where the font is, I'm gonna filter it into the writing fonts cause I'm gonna be using the chalk markers here. So I want it to be able to write. So all of this will be ones that they can write. And then I'm going to actually click on my fonts too. So then it's just ones that I have. So, and you won't exactly see what they have, what it will look like on this because once you click on it, it will be thinner because um, it doesn't do these thick ones. But I'm going to click on the algebra, which is the one I had before. I'm going to unlock it so I can... And just size it to however I want. And you can do it in two lines too. So something like that. And then I'm going to add a name. Let's say I add my name. I'm just going to move this up so you can see it. And then I'm going to come up here. And I used this DJ 
there it is. I like the double layer. So this is DJ Smitten. So I'm going to come up here in the line space since I want them closer together. I'm actually just going to make this zero and see how much that comes. See, it doesn't move very much. So I'm going to go to minus two and that moves it closer. In the alignment, I want them centered on each other. So I'm just going to click center. So then I'm going to move this down here. Actually, I'm going to put these a little bit closer. I'm going to do minus four. Make sure they fit Come a little bit smaller. Okay, so that about all fits. So I'm going to put my square about there and to get it exactly aligned, I'm going to click on the square and again, hold the control or command key down, click on the background there and I'm going to go to a line and I'm going to center it horizontally. So now that moves it centered and while every those two still things are in one group, I'm going to come down here and hit the slice. And then I'm going to click on these and delete them. So now you have that picture frame there. And again, I'm going to move this to the back. Okay, so now for these, I'm going to actually change the, they are in draw, which is what you want them on, but I'm going to change the colors of them. And I'm actually going to make this the, um, I'm going to make it a marker. And then I'm going to use two different colors. It doesn't have the chalk marker colors in here because they're actually not Cricut brand. So I'm just going to know that I'm going to put silver because I know I have one of them is actually a white close to silver. So I'm just going to keep that like that. And then I'm going to click on this one. And again, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to change this to just a one millimeter and I'm going to put neon orange. And that just signals to the Cricut to tell you to insert a different color. You could certainly make these both the same color and it won't matter. So I'm actually going to make this black just so it stands out. So up here is where the color is. Okay, so now you can see it's going to stand out. So now we need to attach this all together so that the Cricut will write it and then cut it. So I'm going to align it first. So I'm going to again click. Actually, I'm going to put the whole thing in the box. And then I'm going to align everything. So I'm going to align center horizontally. Things move a little bit. And then I'm going to hit the attach key. So now once it's attached, you can see up here on your layers panel that this is going to be draw the name here, another draw the algebra, and then this will cut out. So then you're going to make all these the same. So for these, I actually just duplicated them a bunch of times and then you can go in and actually come down and detach and then click on this and go in and change what this one says. So you can put like vice president. Okay. And then again, I'm going to move this to the back. So this comes up and then you can change this name. And then you're going to click detach down on here to Detach that and then you can change this name. Say like that. And then you can duplicate it and just do as many as you want. And so once you've done this, you need to attach them again. So put them all back into one square and we're going to line them again just to make sure and then I'm going to click the attach. So now they are attached. So now when we go to make it, you will see that these two are here. 
And then if we hit continue, and it's looking for my maker on the Bluetooth. And I'm gonna go into medium cardstock here. And so you'll see this tells me exactly what I need to do. I'm gonna load the silver, which for me is gonna be my white chalk marker and clamp A. My normal blade is there. And then I'm gonna press go. Okay, so I'm gonna load my mat and I'm gonna press that. And then when it stops and pauses and starts blinking at me, this will change and it will say to load the neon orange, which is the gold marker that I'm using. Okay, so let's start cutting.